Are you guys ready for your next comedian? Let me bring him straight on. Yup. Please, please give a warm welcome for Socrates English. I'm going to pronounce that right. Yeah. Well. Uh, didn't sound very good. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to get any better or not. There's a lot of pressure on me right now. You know, I just uh, came in from Amsterdam today. You know, and, uh, making it train. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> ten euro, ten euro, ten euro. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been having. Uh, it's been recently hard for me. Uh, I've been having a lot of hard days there. You know, it was. Uh, some of those uh, same shit, different day kind of days recently. Uh, it was actually worse. I uh, had, uh, it was different shit, same day. <laughs> and so, uh, if you can't tell, I'm an American. Oh. It just gets worse and worse. Yeah, so I try to celebrate, you know, wherever I can find uh, anything good happening, you know whether it's an impeachment or not an impeachment or just a small war, whatever's going on. Um, I try to celebrate, you know, the moments like we just had New Year's and uh, Happy New Year's, they say. Not so far, just my opinion, it's, it's, it's not a Happy New Year yet, so I'm, I'm trying to find a better holiday. What I've been celebrating now is uh, 12, 34, and 56 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a great moment, it's, uh, it's only a one second holiday. Uh, but if you've got a 24 hour clock, it's just once a day. Uh, it's an easy holiday to celebrate. And you say, well, why am I celebrating it? Well, for one thing, uh, I was up by noon. <laughs> I do. Uh, I said, I'm I setting my so goals sure. lower and lower is what it really comes down to. Uh, it's like uh, I've been trying to uh, get in, like a beat shape, you know, trying to get into shape again, you know what I mean? And uh, my goal, I know I didn't get this uh, summertime, but I'm. My goal was to get in shape for uh, summer 2005. <laughs> now I know I realize that I'm in well A shape. <laughs> I thought I could get into a better shape, you know. And uh, a friend of mine he suggested I try hot yoga. And uh, well, I signed up for the class, and the teacher she took one look at me and told me I did not qualify. <laughs> You're supposed to feel better about yourself. I did not feel any better about myself. You know, that's the thing. Life is so damn stressful nowadays. You know, maybe yours isn't. Mine is. And uh, a buddy of mine, he's a 24-year-old guy, and he just suffered his first burnout at work. And uh, 24 years old. Uh, the problem, I think, is you have to maintain a work and life balance. It's like one of the most critical things. And the most important rule is that you never take your work home with you. And this applies doubly. If you're a kindergarten teacher, <laughs> fool me once. I'm just... Appreciate that. <laughs> but the thing is, like, you know, when your personal goals conflict with your, like, you know, moral, moral beliefs and such, it's difficult. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an anti-capitalist capitalist. Because you know? I like money, but I'm no good at making it. <laughs> but a friend of mine, it's even worse for him because he's a flat earther. <laughs> but the guy's also a globalist. <laughs> it's just a difficult situation, you know what I'm saying? So I've been working on my own morality. I'm trying to become a better person. Um, what I did was I joined the Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, I thought it would open doors for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand people apparently. So I'm trying to come up with a business because you know the money thing. Uh, I came up with a new uh, Dutch peanut butter. I'm calling it Hela's Pindicats. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know that means, oh well, peanut butter. It's something the Dutch say when something goes wrong, you know, and they don't have anything, you know, constructive or helpful to say. Um, the thing is this, if you go to the United States, right, and someone drops their phone in a toilet, and you say, hey, let's spend the gas, or, oh, well, peanut butter, <laughs> be prepared to be punched in the face, oh, well, okay? 
And when you call the police, the police show up and you explain what happened to him. And he says, I dropped my phone in the toilet. This guy said, oh, well, here, buddy. I punched him in the face. The cop might punch you in the face. But he's definitely not going to press charges, is my point. So, so I've been trying to come up with these businesses, and that's my newest idea. It's a niche market, I think. But my last business I was doing was a thing called Stolen Dog Walker. Yeah, have you stolen a dog? Too scared to walk it? <laughs> <laughs> Give us a call, we'll walk it for the questions asked. We're just going to assume you stole it. Stolen dog walker. And by the way, I do love the shoes. I just have to point that out because I hadn't noticed them at some point. These are, you'll notice a shoe. They're very shiny. But, uh, so I don't know if you can uh, tell just by looking at me, but uh, I'm still a virgin. Yeah, my wife is pissed. <laughs> we had this big fight, apparently I didn't get her what she wanted for her anniversary again. I said there were sugar, sweet, honey pie. Because I forgot her name. <laughs> it didn't get any better from there, if you know what I mean, so... She didn't forgive me, and I learned, I learned a lot from her over the years. Uh, recently she taught me how to be a minimalist. Well, since the divorce. <laughs> but that's the thing, I'm learning to appreciate things. I'm uh, appreciating the bad parenting and the uh, poor decision making that leads to us being able to enjoy pornography. It's a circle of life that leads these things around. It takes a while. But I'm still judgmental. You know what I mean? I still like. Uh, I find myself criticizing the bad tattoo choices. Made by the porno actors. I know it's not their worst life decision, <laughs> but it's so visible, you know? <laughs> so, have uh, any uh, big porn people that I've just judged the audience was not a porn kind of a, this big MILF porn crowd? <laughs> the mothers I'd like to fuck? Is that nice? I'm not into that. I, 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 I'm more of a niche player. I like filth porn. Have you seen this stuff? You know? Vegans I'd like to fuck. That's <laughs> why so I always bring a little better than B12 with me, because you just never know. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. I'm still trying. You know I mean? I'm still trying to, you know, get, you know, trying to get laid, you know? Do people still use that word, or you just call it chlamydia now? <laughs> <laughs> Like the, uh, this today, I was on my way here and I was passing through Central Station. And I saw these two really hot chicks. They were making out on the bench. So I walked over to them and I said, hey, excuse me. Hashtag me too. <laughs> Did, didn't work. <laughs> but uh, people encouraged me that like, you should go out with older women. Cougars, they said. You know, that's the, that's the day, game of the day. You know? And I'm like, it's not really for me. You know? I'm more of a hyena guy, you know? <laughs> I like the lap, you know what I mean? It's as a county it's just my thing, you know? But I had this uh, big fight with my, uh, my hyena girlfriend, and uh, she complained that uh, I, was, I was really no good at sex. I, I said to her, sugar, honey, super. Because <laughs> I had never actually asked her name. <laughs> but I realized that, you know, maybe I needed professional help, you know what I mean? You know, I respond to feedback. And so uh, I went to a prostitute. <laughs> but the thing is, after we were done, she gave me my money back. <laughs> she said she didn't know what that was, but it wasn't sex. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I've turned to a life of crime since that joke. You know, it moves quickly. And so what I've been doing now, the thing is, I'm worried about getting arrested, you know, uh, because they've got jails and things, and it's, it's like a deterrent. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to focus on easy crimes that I get away with. Uh, like I've been recently, I'm trying to steal that walking stick that the blind people use. Because, <laughs> you know, what are they going to do? They're not going to go running off to the police, you know? Not without that stick or not. <laughs> of course, the problem is it's not easy to sell. Because <laughs> there's not a lot of people looking for those things. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've been going to a wellness center. It's uh, you know, saunas and there's uh, you know, everyone's naked because there's no clothes, so it's fun to see that. You know, it's good. I'm getting older. For me, it's it's good for my heart. I consider it cardio. <laughs> But as an American, we don't have foreskins. We're all basically circumcised at birth. So I had never really seen a foreskin before. We don't even have them in our porno. And uh, all I can tell you is this. When the Jews, the Muslims, and the Americans can actually agree on something. <laughs> I mean, it's worth a shot, right? I, I don't know if it's the pathway to world peace or not, but... I've done my part, is my point here, okay? So, I'll leave you with some words of advice, because my name is Socrates, and people sometimes think I have words of advice. Um, <laughs> they're wrong, by the way. But that's the thing, you know, uh, I like sayings, like, when life gives you lemons, people tell you you should make lemonade. You know, assuming you have a bunch of sugar and water. Now, I'm a Greek. So I say when life gives you lemons, you make fish. Because <laughs> nothing goes better with fish than lemons. But if you give a man a fish, right, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach that man a fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Because education is more important and better than charity. But I say, if you teach a Greek man to fish, <laughs> He'll be glad when life gives him lemons. Because all the fish. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Sebastian. I'll see you next week.